Hello, in this video I will tell you about the new Edge browser Microsoft is working on. This browser is based on the new Chromium open source project. There are two features which I find very useful in the new browser. And both features can also be used together with Microsoft Dynamics 365 for files and operations, but also any other websites you would love to use. You can try out the new Edge browser yourself already. If you go to Microsoft Edge Insider.com and then the download section, you can choose between a beta version, which will be updated about every six weeks. You can have a weekly updated dev channel, or you can use the Canary channel, then you have daily builds. I've chosen to use the dev channel. Now about the two new cool features, when you are working with Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations, you have to remember the URL to be able to access the application, or you can bookmark it. But now you can actually create or install an app out of a certain web page. For example, I will first go to LCS because I don't know the URL. URL by heart. I'm, I'm having a lot of URLs and if you have multiple customer environments, uh, testing environments or maybe all kinds of development environments, if you're working for an ISV, then probably you will start within LCS to find the correct environment. So I will first go to LCS. And log in. When you're in LCS, you will see a lot of projects and within each project, you can have multiple environments. When I go to my Dynamicspedia environment, you'll see it takes some clicks to get to the certain web page. Now, usually we will bookmark this one and have a shortcut but now if you go to the ellipsis menu, the more menu, go to apps, then you can install this site, the current URL, as an app. What we can do is, this will be LCS Dynamics Media Environment, install it. What you see is it directly opens up a new app, including the LCS. What you can do is just close it. Now we're back in the original browser. But if you now go to the start menu, you will notice that there's a new app added called LCS Dynamicspedia Environment. When I click on it, it will directly open the app and you don't have to worry about the URL anymore. So it directly opens it. Now from this page, if we want to open the environment itself, because I don't know the URL, then I can log on to my environment. It will now open a kind of difficult to remember URL. Also in the incorrect company, so I'll change this one to the Contoso demo dataset. Now also, this application can be installed as an app. Then I Expedia, install it, and now you can Treat this one as an app, you don't have to think about the URL, you don't have to worry about any additional tab pages with other websites you want to open then, and then by accident shut down the whole application, you can now just focus on finance and operations or probably every site you would like to install as an app. For example, there's also a Disney Plus.
There's no Windows 10 app for it, but you can create this one as an app yourself. So it's not limited, limited to Microsoft Dynamics 365. Every web page can be installed as an app. Now if you want to get rid of certain apps, you can go to the ellipsis button again, apps, manage the apps. And for example, the Disney Plus should be removed. Then we can uninstall this one. Another option what you can do when you do have the app, you can pin this one to your start menu. Now it's here. Just like you started, but also you can pin it to your taskbar. The second option I want to explain you in this video, usually when you have multiple environments or multiple credentials because you're working on, on several customers or if you want to demonstrate Microsoft Dynamics 365 in the context of multiple users during a demo, then you have to switch user accounts and you have to open the in private browsing mode to be able to switch the accounts easily. But now the new Edge browser has also a solution for it. So if we open the URL we used before, this is this environment. It now runs with my admin account. But what if we want to also demonstrate the features using another account? Then instead of using the private browsing mode, we can now go to the user button and we can add a new profile. And each profile can store its own credentials. So we have a profile too. We will first change this one because this will be used by Mia. Mia can already sign in with a work account. Let's wait for the option to sign in. Mia at exploring dot on Microsoft dot com and the password And now I have one account using my own credentials, one account using Mia, but you can also create multiple more profiles. For example, one profile for an email address for every customer you're working on. If we now open Microsoft Dynamics 365, for finance and operations. You notice there's an option for Mia, but we can save these credentials within this user profile. And now we have Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance op Operations opened in the context of a user. In this case, all rules for Mia. I'll close this one. This is my own admin environment. Close this one. What we can now do is then you can open the Edge browser again and you can choose between the profiles. For example, I want to use Mia. And I want to open the other browser also with finance operations.
with my own credentials. They can live together next to each other without having the need to use different browsers or the in private mode browsing option. So as a summary, there are two nice features in the Edge browser. It's not limited to Microsoft Dynamics 365 for finance operations, but in fact, I think these two new features are very useful for anyone working in the Microsoft Dynamics world, but also for all other applications or websites. By the way, at this moment, there's one downside. Using Chrome, you can install an extension to be able to work with the workflow configurations. The new Edge browser will probably also support it in the future, but not today. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.